Well, hi, friends. Happy Saturday. Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life. I uh, wanted to come to you uh, here for just a few minutes to let you know that contrary to uh, media manipulation, Joe Biden has not won the election for president of the United States. Right now, nobody has won that election. You know, <clears throat> the ignorance of the Democrats, the crass ignorance of the media who support them, the ignorance and malice of the Biden supporters is once again on full display as they try to fool the American public by making them think that the election has been decided. You know, we actually, and this is not a matter of opinion, we actually have a process in the United States of America defined by the Constitution and by state law as to how a president gets uh, elected. <clears throat> if you're hearing media reports that Biden has won the election, you'll hear the word projected and projected to win. You know what that is? It's an opinion. It's not the winning of the election. Let's explain how this works. When the winner of the ele presidential election is officially declared, by the way, the media, neither in state law, federal law, nor in the Constitution, the media has absolutely no role in declaring the winner of a presidential election. You won't find it there. You won't find it in the, uh, in the, state, new, in the state laws. You won't find it in the federal laws. You won't find it in the Constitution. The media has zero role in declaring the winner of a presidential election. You know when the winner is officially declared? At 1 p.m. in a joint session of the United States Congress, the House and the Senate, on Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. That is when the joint session of Congress receives the certificates of vote, which are their certificates from each state, where on December the 14th, the electors of the Electoral College each meet in separate sessions to cast their votes for president. Again, a simple knowledge of the Constitution tells you how this works. So it's only when the electors vote on December 14th, send in the certificates of vote, and then a joint session of Congress is held on January 6th, the votes are read, and a winner is declared. There is a lot to happen between now and then. The electors haven't even voted yet. It's not the people that vote for president. It's the electors. When you go to the voting booth to elect uh, your choice for president, you're choosing your electors from your state. Now, let's back it up even more. The states each have different deadlines. Some of them, it's a week after election day. Others, it's later in the month. Uh, still others, 14 states, their certification dates are in December. These are for the certification of ascertainment, namely the official declaration of that state as to who won the presidential vote. Now, some states, the margin is so lopsided in one or another direction that they can declare it and certify it pretty quickly. There's no doubt. But there's a lot of states where the margin is very slim. And in particular, there are several disputed states right now where the margin is very, very thin. And where voting counts are still being tallied. And this is the point. When you hear news in the media about Biden and, oh, you know, he's, he's the winner of the presidential election, what, pay attention to the words that they're using. If they're saying he's the projected winner, you know what that is? That's an educated guess. It's an opinion. And the alternate opinion might be just as true. The word you're, you have to be looking for is certified. Did the state certify the election? And if the state didn't certify the election, then friends, it's not decided. So for example, in the states of Pennsylvania and Georgia, Georgia's gonna have a recount altogether. Pennsylvania, they're still counting ballots. Arizona. Now, if, you're, if the razor thin margin exists in various states, in other words, the race is very, very close. All right, so imagine yourself in a room, you've got two gigantic buckets of ballots and they're being counted. And uh, at a certain point in the count, one the candidate is going to be ahead, but then you come back a few hours later when more ballots have been counted and then the other candidate is ahead. That's a snapshot in time. And so what you have to do is you have to look at the rest of the ballots that remain to be counted. And again, there are hundreds of thousands of ballots that still remain to be counted and are being counted in states where the margin is razor thin. So the state cannot possibly certify the results yet. Now, what a person could do is they could look at where the remaining ballots are coming from and when and how they were cast. 
You could say, well, being that most of these remaining ballots were cast on election day, election day voters tend to favor President Trump because President Trump supporters like to come in person, then you might project that most of those ballots will go for him. Biden campaign has a different opinion about based on where some of these remaining ballots come from. We know where they came from. We know how they were cast. We know if they were early mail-in ballots or late mail-in ballots or election day ballots or provisional ballots. We know what they are. They just still have to be counted. And campaigns can have different opinions about which direction they think, emphasis on the word think, the ballots are going to turn out. But they don't know until they're actually counted. So the states can't possibly certify this. Moreover, either at the request of the campaign or according to state law, if the margin of difference is within a certain slim margin, states will automatically trigger a recount or a campaign can request a recount. Georgia is definitely going to have a recount. Pennsylvania may well have a recount. So the point of the fact is, friends, all you're hearing from the media right now is wishful thinking. It's their opinion. It's the opinion of the Biden campaign. You listen to the mainstream media, might as well be listening to Biden himself. Of course they want to think that they won. Should every vote be counted or not? See, this is the, this is the irony. These people come around and they're always saying, oh, well, you know, every vote needs to be counted. Every vote needs to be counted. Well, then keep your mouth shut until every vote is counted. We don't know the winner of the presidential election yet. We have a process in this country. The ballots get counted. If ballots are challenged, as many of these ballots are, because they, besides being slim margins in some of these states, there's also evidence, evidence of impropriety, and it's being investigated. And also the courts are getting involved, and there are legal challenges. Can't we as Americans, and can't the American media, just hold off and let the process run its course instead of trying to manipulate the results? For goodness sake. Give the process a chance to work out. This is a contested election. The states have not certified. So once again, in a nutshell, if you're listening to media reports, you listened for these words. The state of such and such has certified the winner. Even then, it's not the final word because again, that chooses the electors who then, by December 8th, the states have to have their certifications in, uh, sent into the federal government. And then on, on uh, December 14th, the electors will meet each in their own state to cast their vote for president. And then again, on January 6th at one in the afternoon, the House and the Senate will get together in the U.S. Congress and they will hear the votes of the electors. And then, and only then, will the winner of the ele uh, presidential election be official. So I just wanted to give you that information, my friends. And please pass it along to your friends. So share this video. Tell them the, the facts of what's going on. Again, ballots are still being counted. And many ballots are being challenged. Let the process run its course. Thank you, friends. We'll be uh, leading some prayer tonight at 9 p.m. Uh, for the uh, fair and just completion of this election process. So join us here tonight live at 9 p.m. Spread the word. And God bless America, God bless our president, and let's hasten to victory. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.